I think I'm a better person because of Sidir and how they helped me. Amy's story is one of resilience and of understanding that barriers exist. We don't spin fairy tales here. We understand that there are systematic oppressions that our kids face. It's really crazy in my house because um, my mom has to focus about everyone. And we have eight kids, my cousin and my mom and dad. We lost our house about two years ago. And ever since then, it's been hard on her. Amy has a lot of emotions, just like all kids. And sometimes they become a little bit too much for the classroom. I wouldn't want to do my homework and I wouldn't really behave well. I would get out of my seat, yell in class, and not follow direction. Her and her family have their struggles, and I think there's a lot of pent-up aggression around life being a little unfair. As far as I know, Amy spent um, time in the principal's office going back since kindergarten. When I got those calls because Amy was getting in trouble, it kind of made me feel discouraged because all these times I've been telling my daughter that they all have abilities to be good kids. I feel like that's where City Year does our best job, is in addition to family, in addition to older siblings, we add an extra layer of like protection and support and guidance. There was a plan that we put together for Amy. What we found is that she was very responsive to constant interaction with adults. She came up to me, she was like, hey, I think we look alike. And I was like, oh, okay. And she was like, can we tell everyone we're cousins? And I was like, sure. <laughs> We say that we're cousins. She's pretty, I'm pretty. She's smart, I'm smart. So that's why we said we're cousins. That was like the first moment that I broke through with Amy, or she kind of broke through with me. <laughs> There's a lot of factors that go into why Amy has improved over the course of the past year, and I do think City Year is one of them, especially with our SEL curriculum, um, learning how to manage anger, emotions, and coping skills. I think that those are all really important things that help students manage their energy, and especially for students like Amy. Some of the things that help me behave better were by breathing and asking if I could take a little walk. So I started to behave better. My mom not getting phone calls from City Year. What City Year does best is see the bright spots in every student. We're extra adults on campus who care how they are becoming and developing as a human. One thing about Amy, like she's a leader. She'll stand up for what she believes. And she'll also stand up as for other kids, you know? She always does what's best, right? Like she has a good heart. <laughs> Amy led a chip protest. So our principal had banned hot chips and it was like a big uproar because all the kids loved their Takis and hot Cheetos. She had an idea that if every single student in the program go on strike, then the adults would take notice. What do we want? We want chips. When do we want it? We want it now. We want chips! We want chips! The most phenomenal thing that I have ever seen from a child. Studio changed my life because they influenced me to do good. I come to school, I learn, I get good grades, and I make my mom happy. It meant a lot to me to see this change in Amy because I know my daughter had it inside her all this time, and just to see her take it into action was really a satisfying feeling as a mother. She's had a tremendous turnaround. I think self-regulation is something that we've talked about with her. When you are in control of your life, you are 100% responsible for every decision you make. What does it look like for you to care enough about the people around you to make a better decision? And I can like influence my little sister to do good so she can do better in class and do better in school too. And then one day she'll pass it on to my little brother and make it go around in the family. She's incredibly smart, she's incredibly brave, she has so many natural qualities about her that make her such a good leader that I know that she can do anything she wants. My hope for Amy is for her to go to college, university. I feel like I am a better person because of Cedar and how they impact in my life. Thank you, Cedar. <laughs> <laughs>